There's a lot that can be said about fear, what it is, how it arises, how it affects us in the world around us, and so on. And perhaps I'll go into some detail on these things in another video, but today I want to just focus on the feeling itself and how we might respond to it. I will say first of all that fear is a very natural part of this human experience. It does us no good to pretend otherwise. It does us no good to judge it as something unacceptable. We all experience it from time to time, and we need not be ashamed of it. As much as I've been engaged in spirituality, in spiritual study and practice over the course of many, many years, I still experience fear from time to time. In fact, quite recently, I experienced a prolonged period of anxiety, and I found that the more that I tried to get rid of it, to push it away or what have you, the more it persisted, even increasing at times. And so the more we fight against our fear, the stronger it tends to be. So we really need to find another way to approach it, a gentler way, a more loving way. And it all begins with observation. As you begin to observe your fear, you notice that it arises from thoughts which have to do with the future. What's going to happen next? What's going to happen tomorrow or next week or next year? Most of what we fear does not exist in our current immediate reality, but in what we imagine might occur at a later time. It is arising from thought, from imagination. And it's very easy to get caught up in thought and imagination, to be absorbed in thinking about the future, obsessing over what might go wrong. And all of these thoughts take our attention away from this present moment, away from the here and now. And not to say that some of these aren't genuine concerns, not to say that there aren't some things that need to be taken care of or addressed, but is fear really necessary in addressing these things? If we're faced with some adversity, we really only have two options, to do something or to do nothing. And sometimes there is nothing that we can do, but if there is something that we can do, then there's no need to worry about it. We can just take care of it. And if there happens to be absolutely nothing that we can do, then we'll just have to bear it. But in either case, worry is unnecessary. It's just an extra burden that we place on top of an already difficult situation. But most of the time, what we worry about is something in the future which may or may not happen, which means that in the moment, all of that is imaginary. That is, we're reacting to something that we imagine rather than to what is actually happening in the moment. And if we can shift our attention back to this moment right here and now, is there anything to be afraid of right now in this moment, wherever you happen to be, is there any actual immediate danger? Now, it is possible that there may be something occurring in this very moment, which is worthy of fear. But most of the time there isn't. Most of the time there is no present danger. Most of the time we're completely safe in this moment. And all the fear that we're experiencing is due to what we imagine might happen at some later time. So can we bring our attention back to this moment here and now? It may be that in this very moment we're experiencing some fear, some anxiety, and I'm not suggesting that we deny that experience because that is also included in whatever is occurring in the present moment. But what we might try to do is to bring our awareness to it, to bring our awareness just to the feeling of it. Remember, the thoughts which are causing fear are our imaginations of the future. But the feeling of fear itself is something which is occurring in this present moment. So can we simply observe the feeling, the sensation of it, without being caught up in the imagination, just to observe the raw feeling? It's very important here to distinguish between thought and feeling. We're not interested in giving our attention to thought, but only to the feeling. And not that we try to push the thoughts away, this isn't about making any effort to get rid of anything. It's simply about shifting our attention. And as you focus that attention on what is presently occurring, there is naturally less attention on thought, on imagination. So to simply be aware of the feeling of fear without even having to call it that, 
It's just a sensation in the body. We don't need to label it. We don't need to make sense of it. We don't need to analyze it or interpret it in any way. This is just about observing the raw feeling of it, just noticing how it feels, just being aware of the sensations, being aware of what is right here occurring in this present moment, just sitting with it, breathing into it, dropping whatever resistance we might have to it, and simply allowing it to be there. This is a very different approach to what we usually do, so it may take some practice. Usually we try everything we can to escape the feeling, to distract from it, or to suppress it. And just notice this, how there is such a strong desire to run away. And think about it. Ask yourself this question. What is it that is urging me to run from fear? The very urge itself is coming from fear. So there it is again. We're afraid of fear. Fear is urging us to escape from fear. But how is this possible? The very thing that's urging us to run away is the same thing that we're trying to run away from. It's as if fear is trying to escape from itself. And so there's no escape. The best you can do is maybe distract yourself for a time, but that doesn't resolve it. As soon as you have nothing to distract you, there it is waiting to be addressed again. So there is no way out except to go directly through it. So what I'm suggesting here is that we completely surrender to it, accept it, completely allow it to be felt and experienced in this moment without any sort of resistance. Just allow the sensations to be there and to observe them. Again, we're not concerned with the thoughts that give rise to the feeling, but only to the feeling itself. So whenever you notice the mind drifting off into thought, into imagination, just bring the attention back to the sensation, to the body, to the moment, gently anchoring the attention in the here and now, noticing the breath, noticing any tension in the body, and allowing that tension to relax. We're not fighting anything, we're not fighting the feeling of fear, we're not trying to escape it, we're just being present with it. And at the same time, we can also be aware of everything else that's occurring in the moment. We can be aware of the temperature in the room or wherever you happen to be. We can be aware of any sounds occurring in that space. Whatever is occurring here in this moment, this is where the attention is. And this feeling that we call fear is just a feeling in the body. It's just a few sensations. And these sensations, as unpleasant or as uncomfortable as they may seem, are not going to cause you any serious harm. So there's no need to be afraid of them. Just allowing them to be there. Allow them the space to be felt. And just notice them. Just observe them, allowing them whatever time they need in order to settle. There's no rush to be rid of them. There's no anticipating the next moment. No anticipating their absence. We're just holding space for them gently, lovingly, with total acceptance. And the more we allow them this space, letting go of any resistance, you may begin to notice the sensations beginning to relax, beginning to calm. It's like a pond where everything has been stirred up and the water has become dark and murky. And in order for the water to become clear again, you need do nothing at all. Just allow it to be and all the debris will begin to settle all on its own. As long as you interfere with it, you just keep disturbing it and the water remains cloudy. But if you just allow it to be and don't do anything at all, the water becomes still and everything settles. So whatever we're feeling in this moment, if we can just allow it to be without interfering, without making any effort to change it, but just simply being present with it, it will begin to settle all on its own. So even if there is some resistance, which is often the case, we can just notice it, just be aware of it, allowing it to relax and settle. Without any effort whatsoever, it decreases just by allowing whatever is to be. So be aware of fear, but not absorbed in it. Take a step back and observe it the way you might step out of the water to sit on the shore. Just relax with it, sit with it, allow it to be, and watch as it settles and subsides. <laughs>